have you experienced that as you focus on certain problem and it gets just bigger and bigger and bigger astrology and the law of attraction how can these two different topics can be tied i was asked to create this video by one of my viewers so here i am I am Larimar, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I am all about becoming the best self and inspiring you to become the best self through sharing what I'm genuinely passionate about and astrology is one of them. It helped me understand myself and life in general, so I would love to share about it. So without further ado, let's get started. So many of you would know that astrology is based on your birth chart. It's like a snapshot of celestial dynamics at the time of your birth from the location of your birth. And this energy starts unfolding throughout your life. So your birth chart has a really important and key clues about who you are. The law of attraction is basically what you put out is what you get back. You attract the realities or things, person, relationship, career through your thoughts. And let me share my perspectives about these two topics. Both are valid. Whatever you put out is what you get back. This universe is based on attraction. What you are thinking actively may or may not be your best preference though. You know, sometimes we get annoyed and irritated and think about the source of stress for a long time, intensely. Have you experienced that as you focus on certain problem and it gets just bigger and bigger and bigger? So the more you dwell on something, you get more of it. What I love about astrology is it can be very accurate. It's so accurate, but at the same time, your birth chart presents all possibilities. So let me take an example. So let's say you have Jupiter and Saturn opposing each other. A lot of people say that, oh, opposition sucks. It's so bad. But it really depends on your perspective. When you have Jupiter and Saturn opposing each other, you can experience that your visions get restricted. You would have obstacles and challenges around growing something. It depends on where Jupiter is located in your birth chart. If it's in the fifth house, you may have some creative blocks. If it's in the seventh house, you may have challenges around growing relationship, growing and developing and nurturing relationships. And you would have a lot of heavy responsibilities around the matters of the seventh house. However, when you focus more on the problems, you're going to attract, create more of the problems based off of law of attraction. But the same exact position can be used to your advantage. Jupiter and Saturn opposition, you can consistently, gradually grow your visions. It's not going to be an overnight success, but your success are going to last long and self-sustainable, which are the positive aspects of Saturn. Your vision, Jupiter, can be developed, Saturn, through methodical, practical steps. Also, you can thrive in restricted environment, which is Saturn. You know, sometimes when we have more limitations, like these factors can push us to be more creative and expand our awareness and deepening our knowledge and raising our consciousness. Certain roadblocks can trigger us to move forward and grow further. Another positive expression, you can crystallize Saturn, your visions. You can stabilize your growth. 
Of course, it depends on where these planets are located and if there are any other aspects from different planets, things are going to play out differently. But my point is, this astrological chart does not determine your life fatalistic. You can think of it as a Google map. You, know, you can look it up, your destination, and see how long it takes and how you can get there. This information can be found by learning how to read your chart or having a reading from an astrologer. According to law of attraction, you can attract anything. But to be more precisely speaking, you attract anything that you need. I want to take another example. Venus in the 12th house. This position can give you a lot of loss and sacrifice and restriction and challenges around relationship. However, as a higher manifestation, you can have a lot of fun when it comes to the matters of the 12th house, such as traveling to a foreign country or having alone time, creative activities, spiritual practice, or what else, like watching film, uh, pursuing music, drama, reading books, writing, any activities that require solitude. Anything related to ocean and Pisces in general, you can have a lot of pleasure. On top of that, you can also have a lot of fun and joy in relationships based on creativity, spirituality, imagination, and foreign elements. Now, this interpretation is very different from the former statement, like you have a lot of challenges around relationship. Both are true. What you experience depends on what you attract based off of law of attraction. When you focus on the problems and negative shadow sides of Pisces or the 12th house, you're going to experience the more of the negative problems or challenges. But every challenge teaches something, so even they can be used to your advantage. But when you're Consciously focusing more on the positive aspects of the 12th house, you're going to attract really good realities, again by the law of attraction. So hopefully this makes sense to you. And another thing that I noticed personally when it comes to this relationship, I found that the way I interpret my chart changes depending on the state of my being depending on my vibration. Sorry about that, the light just went off. So I still have the same birth chart, but depending on my vibration, I noticed that the way I interpret my chart has changed. It's like when you are depressed, you can't really um, inspire yourself. You can't be motivated until you find your zone again. Your birth chart has all information about you. But what you attract from this blueprint is determined by what you attract. So I see that these two seemingly different topics are perfectly synchronized together. And with that information, you can use these tools to your advantage to become the better version of yourself. So let me know how you think. I would love to I would love to know your perspective about astrology and the law of attraction. These are one of the most popular topics in spirituality, I think. So I would love to see how your discussion would go. And thank you so much for watching. I hope this is helpful. If you liked it, like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell button so you get notification every time I post a new video. Thank you. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!